So we just be real about it. That's one thing I love about, you know, the uh, authenticity of when you deal with people that are like-minded. They're just honest. You don't need to go, you know, pour out all your issues to people, but just make the assumption. I'm going to tell you right now, I have issues. And so do you. But the question is, how do you deal with the issues, right? Some people have baggage. We use the word baggage, right? I love the word baggage. It's like when you fly, everyone's going through the airport with their baggage. Do you know people in your life that got like 10 check-ons? Do you know those people? They got so much baggage, they're paying extra money to put that stuff on their plane called life. And then you have these people who just have the little roll away, right? And then you have the person who's just got the attache, but we all have them. So it's thinking about ourselves in different perspectives. But the thing that binds everything that we're going to talk about today, in, you know, the brief time we have here, is communication. That's the thing that, that I get asked a lot when I do a lot of media. They'll say, well, wait a minute, Mike, we're looking at your Twitter account, and we understand that you did a relationship event last Tuesday at Wrigley Mansion, and then Thursday you are in front of financial advisors, and then on Saturday you did some sports symposium with a bunch of the athletes in Arizona. I don't get it. I said, it's simple. They're all human. It's all communication. That's the thing that binds us. When I wrote my book with my partner Dan Lear in 2010, it was a relationship book. And the book, you can get it on Amazon if you want. It's called Men, 10 Secrets Every Woman Should Know from Two Guys That Do. That's the name of the book. 10 Secrets Every Woman Should Know from Two Guys That Do. I didn't set out to be a relationship guru. I did not. But when I asked my partner Dan, who's 10 years older than me, who's been coaching 10 years longer than me, and we're coaching all these high-profile people, and we compare notes. And I said, what's the biggest issue that comes up in coaching? Number one, what would you say, Dan? He says, it's relationships. The CEO hires me. The broker hires me, thinking he or she's going to have me come in and train their people, right? Motivate them, teach them neuro-linguistic programming skills so they're all lethal on their sales skills. And then I get the guy or the gal one-on-one, -on -one, and you find out he or she's on the road 90 hours a week. They're not home. They're absentee mothers and fathers. Their marriage is in shambles. They haven't had sex in two months. I'm like, oh, those sounds like my clients. So I said, let's compare notes and write a book on it. So we went on a one-year study. We went and did live events just like this. We had hot mics just like these are in the middle. We'll do Q&A, by the way, at the end of the event, um, for the, for, if you're wondering why the mics are there. So we went out there and we transcribed all these events. And what we found out was people are struggling in their, rela in their relationships. Right? And it's just simple things. People are talking about, oh, it's money. Number one reason for divorce, money. That's what they said. Not true. Not true. Oh, it's lack of intimacy. People grow comfortable together. Not true. Oh, it's goals. They don't talk about their goals together. They grow and get comfortable together, and they just kind of reside together like roommates do. Not true. It's communication. If they communicate about money up front, if they communicate about their goals, do you realize that the majority of couples, you don't need to raise your hand on this one, because I know some guilty parties in here. The majority of couples do not sit and talk to each other about their goals. You have an idea. You're like, yeah, I know she wants to do this, or he wants to do that. But actually sitting down and going, hey, honey, we went to this UVA conference, and we heard some crazy bald guy get up on stage and talk to us about goals and relationships and stuff. And you know what? He's kind of right. You and I have never sat down with each other and like developed a five-year plan of what we want. I know we kind of do, but let's, let's come up with a plan. It's kind of scary. I got clients that tell me, like, oh, Mike, you don't understand my marriage. I'm like, I don't. I'm married. I got a wife. She's motivated. She's a lawyer. She does her thing. But we talk about it. Okay? Same thing around the other issues that people think it's a problem. But it all goes back to beliefs. Beliefs. Beliefs drive behaviors.